these set up shots are getting fucking ridiculous. We're here! I'm so excited! Good morning! It is freaking bitter out. I think it's about 30 to 35 degrees. I'm just wearing a sweatshirt. My fingers are freezing. But I know I'll get warm once I start hiking. And I did bring some extra wintery stuff. So what is going on today? I am doing Mount Isolation in New Hampshire. Another of New Hampshire's 48, 4,000 footers. And one I have not done yet, which means this will be number 44. I've been hiking less than 10 minutes and I'm already warm, like borderline need to take off the sweatshirt warm. I have been so excited to do this hike. I literally could not even sleep last night. I probably slept two to three hours on the couch because I was just like tossing and turning. Woo. And I think most of that was just like excitement. So according to gut hooks, or, well, it's not even called gut hooks anymore. I forget what it's called now. Anyway, according to that app, it says that Mount Isolation is one of the most remote of the 4,000 footers in the White Mountains. Second only in distance to Owl's Head, which Luke and I did last year. There's no, like, straight shot up the mountain to the peak. You kind of have to go out and around. And what's interesting about it is you're actually going up at a higher elevation, like all above tree line on like a ridge, I think. And then you're actually hiking down to Mount Isolation. So, should be a good hike. Look at that nice soft ski trail. Now look at the hiking trail. And I'm so glad I wore my boots today. This bottom part of the trail has been really messy and wet and beautiful. I brought some of my winter stuff on this hike because it seems like a lot of it's gonna be exposed and I wasn't really sure what the conditions would be. So I've got my boots, like I said. I always bring my sweatshirt puffy and raincoat when I'm hiking the whites because <sighs> you never know up here. But I also brought my gloves and a beanie and my micro spikes. <laughs> it's been raining a lot this past week and where it's like at freezing temperatures, especially overnight. I just wasn't sure if it was gonna be icy. But so far, I don't think that was necessary. <laughs> Washington, get some snow. I just can't get over these views. Oh, I love 
this hike. Back in the trees. It's pretty. so cool it like just keeps popping in and out of trees it's mostly all open but it's really neat and narrow all right guys so we've essentially made it up to like the top of the trail like the highest point which we're over 5,000 feet somewhere um I just came from that way, and now we're heading back down over that way to Mount Isolation. Pretty much all downhill from here until I have to go back to my car and then back up <laughs> to here. <laughs> I have not seen a single person yet today. And I mean, there's hardly any wind. Oops. I could live up here. Just when it was like a nice spot to camp in there. This hike's got it all, guys. Shit. Okay. I'm on my last little push up to the top. And I spooked myself. I swear I heard something, but I didn't make out what it was over the sound of me whining because I hit my shin, but it sounded either like wind, like a big bird with its wings took off, or a growl. So, I'm really just telling you so that I'm talking to someone and there's sound. <laughs> Because I do not want to see a bear up close and personal right now. La la la. I don't want to see a bear. La la la. We're almost there. <laughs> oh. We did it. Number 44, Mount Isolation. Oh, look at that perfect flat sitting rock. I think I will. Oh wow, that is a perfect view of Mount Washington. Holy crap. And it's so clear. Uh-oh, Gray Jay. Hang on, let me get my food. Oh! That's a big bite. Oh. He landed on my phone. Oh, you dropped it. Oh, they're swarming me.
They're so cute. Okay, now that the birds ate half my lunch. <laughs> Guys, this has seriously, hands down, been my favorite day hike I think I've ever done. It's just been the perfect day. I know I'm only halfway done though. I still gotta go all the way back. So I'm not gonna film on the way back. Um, I'm going the way I came, so you've already seen it all. I took my sweet ass time getting here, especially with filming, it just took me forever, but it was just so pretty. I gotta go back up quite a ways and then a steep down to the car so hopefully my knees hold up. So anyways, I will check back in with you at the car in a second. We made it! <laughs> it went well. My knees are doing okay and I would say it remains that that is officially my new favorite day hike. So it ended up being about 12-ish miles and over 5,000 feet in elevation gain. So that's significant. It did take me eight and a half hours, which isn't really my best timing, but I was filming and I was just enjoying the shit out of it. So I'm okay with it. Also, it was a two and a half hour drive up this morning. I only slept three hours last night and now I gotta drive two and a half hours back home. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention was I didn't bring my camera today. I've just been using my phone. So I'm curious if you noticed <laughs> and if you did, if you minded. So if you have something to say about that, you could leave it in the comments. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.